Good morning. We're very excited to be here this morning and very excited to have my colleagues join me, Council Member Roberto Bali and Council Member Mercurio Martinez for this um, exciting announcement. Um, this idea of runway, uh, a run in the runway, which is a 5K, is an idea that Council Member Roberto Bali um, initiated and brought to Council, so we're very happy that um, he, he brought this to us so that we could make this a, a citywide event. So we thank you, Council Member, for, for your leadership and creative thinking in making this happen for the first time ever in our great city of Laredo, Texas. Um, before we continue, we do want to introduce some dignitaries that are with us this morning. I know that our Mayor Pete Sines was somewhere around here. He's probably already um, up there. Um, but our Mayor was here. We also have our District 3 Council Member, the Honorable Mercurio Martinez. District 8 Council Member, the Honorable Roberto Bali. We also have Laredo Independent School District Board of Trustees, Board Member, or Board Secretary, I should say, Monica Garcia. Our co interim uh, City Manager, Ms. Rosario Camarillo Cabello. Co interim City Manager, Mr. Robert Eads. Airport Director, Mr. Jeff Miller. Representing the, uh, uh, the Laredo Police Department, Chief Claudio Trevino is the Community Relations Office. We have our Health Director, Dr. Hector Gonzalez. From the Human Resources Department, Saida Gonzalez. From Public Works, John Orfila. Our Traffic Director, Mr. Dan McGee. And from Transit, Mrs. Claudia San Miguel. We also thank uh, the presence of uh, two of our airport advisory committee members who give of their time uh, to our city and to the airport committee. We have Elizabeth Alonso with us today, as well as Judge Hector Cortez. Thank you all for being here. And the chair of the airport. Oh, and we also have the chair of the airport, um, committee. J.D. J.D. Gonzalez. Thank you for being with us, Mr. Gonzalez. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to our um, Parks Director, Mr. J.J. Gomez, to give us more details on, on today's event. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Torres. Thank you all for being here. Very exciting times for first time ever that we have this run here in Laredo. Uh, I'm proud to announce that Laredo's first runway, first run 5K and 1K Saturday, April the 18th at 8 a.m. The race will take place here at Laredo International Airport. Runners will have the opportunity to run across the runway, hopefully with aircrafts in the surrounding area to create an unforgettable experience. For, the most interested, for those not interested in doing the full 5K, we still want to participate and have a 1K walk, run, whatever they like to do. You can register online at Laredo One Way 5K Runway. It's at yourrace.com. The cost for the 5K is $35, and for the 1K is $10. So don't let the cost not come over. Uh, it's, Great opportunity to come in and, and run on the airport. All proceeds, more importantly, raise, go towards sponsoring a summer camp for, for at-risk youth in our programs the, all, all over the city of Laredo, which is exciting for all of us. After the race, we are making plans for an even more exciting event coming up later this year that is sure to excite Laredo. Further, de further details to come. No, no one, of the most, one, one of the most exciting parts of this race is the grand prize for our overall winners. Thanks to Arumar, our top overall male and female winners will each win a Mexican getaway or two. I think that that will make the race much more competitive and interesting for all the participants. Each participant will also get a medal and race shirt that we can't wait to share. We encourage everyone to come out and experience the race, invite your friends and come out and enjoy the event together. We really want to make this a fun experience for everybody all, of all ages. From packet pickup on Friday afternoon here at the airport, to the post-race festivities after the race on Saturday morning. It's going to be a great weekend on April the 18th. The Parks Department and our staff is committed to bringing new and innovative ideas to our residents, and this is truly something we've never done before. And I personally is also very excited because somehow or another I like to run in that race. As the Laredo's running community grows, we look forward to growing with it and creating more opportunities for all the runners in Laredo. I'll pass it over now to Councilman Robert Bali, who really came with all this idea, came with this idea and brought it all together. And here we are today. So I'll let him say a few words so he can give you more, more, more details on, the, on this event. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Uh, thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Torres. Um, and and uh, want to thank uh, uh, Jeff Miller from, from Airport uh, uh, as well as, as this. Uh, to have a race like this, it takes a lot of, of coordination of all the different city departments, our, our parks department, uh, airport, for airport particularly, because imagine having what airport has to go through with FAA to make sure that they allow us to even get on the runway, to get the public on the runway. It's, that in and of itself is, is work. But then all the work that, go, that goes along with the race, which, which uh, city staff uh, it gets involved in, the parks department, uh, different staff members, uh, get involved in but but what's exciting about this race is, is for, for the runners uh, for runners this is this is the only opportunity you ever get to run a course like this uh, and, and what makes it possible is, is uh, you know that, that we've got good sponsors we have LNF here IBC is sponsoring so we're getting to have a lot of fun with this race uh, what are, uh, you have a completely fa flat course right so for runners they can set a personal record on this flat course They'll also, we'll, we'll, we're planning on having on the, on the uh, um, runway, uh, helicopters, planes. We're having so much fun with it. In, in, in coordinating this with, with airport and parks, we decided that this race would be the funnest race in, in the community. So uh, from package pickup, uh, we're, having, we're having food and beverages right here using the airport facilities, using the restaurant. And so we'll, we'll have package pickup here. We'll have breakfast here available. Uh, we're going to have, have resources that we don't normally have in other, in other races because we have such good sponsors. In addition, the grand prize. The grand prize for men and women, a getaway for two and for a Mexican resort sponsored by Romar. So with this new airlines coming into town, they're, they're another great sponsor. And so now we have these wonderful trips that, 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 that we have. We're having fun, like, like JJ said, with the, with the shirts. We're, we're you know, going all out with the shirts. We're going all out with, with, with the medals, having fun with the theme that we have, and going all out with, with package pickup. So this, this event, this will be the funnest race in town. Uh, we expect a very large turnout uh, for, for runners. And uh, you guys, uh, you know, who are the sponsors, you all made it all possible and the city staff and so so now you know we asked the runners to 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 sign up for this race it's exciting like jj said he wants to run i'm i i started training last week i'm ready to run and I, i've heard from runners in the community they've been talking about it there's already a buzz about this so runners get ready this is going to be fun we've got it's going to be april the 18th and so we're, we're happy to, to to see you guys here at the at the airport thank you thank you roberto and and he, you know, Councilman Bali does mention it. It does take a, a team. It does take a team to get this done. And I was able to make one or two meetings, and the number of people involved to make this possible was was tremendous. And obviously, with with the help of management um, and and also Mr. Eads, we were able to get that support to make this possible. That not only um, promotes our airport, but also promotes tourism, becomes an economical uh, boost for the people that we plan to attract to to this event, and not only that but also um, promotes um, different of our um, locations here because of the strategic location of, of our airport. With that being said, I'd like to call on both our co-interim city managers to join us at the podium for, for a few words and I'll pass it on to Mr. Reeves. Thank you, good morning. Uh, so I was very close to signing up being one of the first ones until I just heard right now. I understood the race was downhill. <laughs> He's telling me it's a flat race, so I may not register after all. Uh, but for all of you who would like to join, please join us. We're excited about this. And what I do want to say uh, different than anyone else is, is these are the types of ideas that, that we, we look for. And so I know uh, Rosario and I uh, are excited when we hear things that may seem out of place or crazy. Uh, we do that well. We, we find a way to get it done. Uh, I don't think there was at any point that there was a no from, from any department, from any of us. We, we, we want to make it happen and, and we invite these sort of ideas because we think we need to be offering these, these sort of uh, community events, these sort of tourism events that will bring uh, people and, and not just that, to have our own uh, citizens come out and have a great time. When, when will you have an opportunity to run on the airport? Uh, besides being chased by federal agents, <laughs> which is probably not what you want to be doing. Um, 
so we're excited about it. We'll continue to work with our city council. We're, we're grateful to them that, that they provide uh, that, that leadership in that respect. But we're entirely grateful for our city departments too. The volunteers, board members that drive those ideas as well because without them too, without them bringing that sort of knowledge to, to these uh, individual groups, uh, you know, it, it doesn't work. So we'll continue to um, elaborate on these ideas. And JJ uh, Gomez, coach, just said, there are a lot of cool things going to be happening, so so stay tuned because we're going to be announcing a lot more uh, great events that you haven't seen before, and we hope that this will be the standard moving forward. So thank you again, and have a great day. Good morning, and thank you very much for coming. Um, I'm very happy to see all of you here today on a very cold and windy day, but it's also very exciting. When Councilman Bali uh, approaches on this item, I was like, hmm, okay, I'm, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> and I, I'm very excited because this is the first ever in our city. So it's, I thank him for the vision that he had to be able to bring this idea forward for us. I think that by you all being here, it's, it's very exciting. Um, so I told my son about this um, last Sunday. And so he says, Mama, we have to train. So we're both doing the 1K this, this time around too. Thank you, you very much. This time, I'd like to call on our uh, airport director, Mr. Jeffrey Miller, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, once again, very exciting. I know when Councilman Bali first came and talked about this, I think it was two things. It was the airport, and obviously, he could tell I was a runner, so I was going to be very interested in this. Um, but no, I think since I got here, we've been trying to champion the message for the airport, fly locally, uh, you know, get, come out here and experience maybe before you drive to San Antonio. And it makes my job so much easier to have the support of the council members, the city managers, our advisory committee, and the press and media, everybody that shows up for these events. Um, this is so fantastic. It will give people an opportunity not only to get used to the new airline, Aeromar, which I think is going to be a fantastic with the planning that we're doing, but also get an opportunity to see some of those areas, some of the assets that they don't necessarily get to see all the time. You know, when we put, you know, five, ten million dollars into the airfield, into the runway, you don't get to see that every time unless you're looking outside the window of your aircraft. And, you know, I think this gives people an opportunity to look at the, what the investment has been in this community, give them an opportunity to look at Laredo in a different light for the airport. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, and don't forget for the winners, there is free booze on Aeromar flights. So that's exciting. That will give people a little bit of initiative to run. But thank you again to everybody so much. I do appreciate it. We do want to call on one of our title sponsors, that's Juan Arroyo from LNF Distributors, to, to say a few words. Okay, uh, well, good morning. Uh, I don't know if I'm more excited as a runner or, or as a sponsor, because... <laughs> or as a drinker. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a fun, fun event. Uh, you don't get to do this often, or I hadn't even heard of anybody running in a at an airport in a, in a runway like that. So we're really excited to be a part of this event. Uh, we are going to help promote it to the max. We are going to help to invite uh, the, all the community and, and all of our partners to, to come and support. And, and uh, we're just very happy to, to be a part of this event. Thank you for putting uh, such a, an amazing event together, guys. Thank you. This concludes our press conference. Uh, please feel free to approach anybody um, for any questions, um, make sure you come and join us at this um, family um, event and um, go buy your tennis shoes, start training, and we'll see everybody here on April 18th. Thank you very much.